Carlos on the way to the gym. <laughs> Got my C4 pre-workout and watermelon. Ooh, my legs look tiny as hell right now. <laughs> we're gonna fix that because we're doing legs today. So leg day, I am just gonna go right ahead and spoil it for y'all. I hit 195 pounds today. Ooh, ooh. So make sure you don't miss that last rep that I've got in this video because you will miss out on a pretty badass squat if I say so myself. <laughs> uh, I did not expect to hit that at all yesterday. Um, I did 185 a few weeks ago when I trained with my husband, but it was not easy and I'm pretty sure he probably assisted me. Uh, I just wasn't ready for it. But anyways, um, I started with five minutes of just warm ups with bands and air squats. Then I did two sets with 95 pounds as a warm up, 135, 45, 55, I believe this is 60, 165 um, and this is typically when I put my knee sleeves on <clears throat> these are the uh, Mark Bell slingshot knee sleeves I think they're called uh, in a medium um, now I've got my belt on I believe this is my set of 175 and if you watch that it was pretty easy I've been working on not letting my knees go in instead pushing them outward Here's 175. Basically, I was just going up in weight for at about 10 pound increments. Um, and every single time it was easier uh, than I had expected. Here I am contemplating life and death. Can I really lift this shit? <laughs> so, this is the one, uh, 195. I am very proud of myself. I have not lifted this much in over a year. Um, it was pretty smooth, and honestly, I probably could have even gotten away with doing 200 or 205 but I did not feel comfortable doing it without a spotter and I do not know anybody in this gym and I felt a little uncomfortable asking just a random dude to spot me so let's watch this yes so proud of myself um, I'm excited to see what is to come thank goodness hallelujah muscle memory exists <laughs> Uh, then I went into some box squats. I did 135 pounds, three sets of 10. The first set was a narrow stance, and then the next two I didn't record. But I moved the uh, box in a different position so that I could do wider stance uh, box squats to work the outer glutes a little bit more than the uh, <clears throat> quadriceps. I really need to get a tripod. I should probably go on Amazon like right now and order one because I have the worst angles and as you can see I cut off half my body in these laying leg curls. I just put my GoPro on top of my water bottle which didn't work out very well but I'm going to show y'all anyways. I did single leg laying leg curls. I think I have 30 pounds here and I did uh, eight reps on each side for three sets and then I moved over. I used to hate this machine uh, probably because I was never really using it correctly. Um, you do not have to use it the way it's it's shown. As you can see, I'm kind of off that pad a little bit. People are always like chest completely hugging the pad and holding onto those bars. I don't really do it that way anymore. I just um, find the spot that works for me and um, to make sure that I'm really isolating the glutes rather than just going through the motion. Um, now I love it. I did 10 reps on each side for three sets. Working those quads. My favorite body part. Um, single leg extensions, 10 reps on each side. I believe this was uh, 40 pounds. Uh, and then last but not least, some stiff legged deadlifts with 30 pound uh, dumbbells. I always find my wall and do it next to a wall so nobody's freaking on the booty. <laughs> Stopping at the gas station to grab a Quest bar because I failed to bring one with me and I'm going to be out running errands. I have to get cookie dough ice cream for my daughter's birthday tonight. She requested that uh, to go along with the cookie cake that I'm going to be making her. And I also have to stop at Tomb, the hardware store, to get a few more, um, some screws for my chicken coop and a candle. I need a birthday cake candle. So while I was in there standing in line, I came across this at one of the end aisles. It is a little bison 
bar made out of 100% grass-fed bison with bacon and cranberries. 11 grams of protein, 12 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs. Um, the ingredient list is, I don't get why this doesn't focus. <laughs> Pretty minimal. Don't look at my nails, they're grody. <laughs> but I'm gonna have this as a post-workout snack. So it's not bad. I expected it to be a little tougher, kind of like a beef jerky, but it, uh, it has a chewier, softer texture to it. Um, the cranberry makes it a little tangy, but good. Not too salty. It's kind of like a little meat patty or something. Chewy. Yesterday I was here and I bought the right length but the wrong width. The head was too big or whatever you call it. The top of the screw was too big. <laughs> so let's try this again. I think we need a four. I think I got the right one this time. Let's hope so because I've been here like five times in the past seven days. You can tell I am not a carpenter by trade. Marley Elsa requested birthday hats for her birthday tonight, so I'm stopping at Teddy, it's like a dollar store kind of, or family dollar, um, and hopefully they have some. Little sparkler number five and party hat. Currently at the pet store picking out some straw, hay, some bedding for inside the chicken coop, and then one of these, I think, possibly even this one. I like to have the display for inside the coop flooring. Birthday girl. Hi. Shopkins and Barbie galore. Birthday girl's request. A giant Shopkin cookie cookie skillet cookie that I just took out of the oven and a sparkler candle. We'll see how that thing works. Yum. Look how thick that is. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marley. Happy birthday to you. Are you one? Are you, Are you two? two? Are you three? Are you four? Are you five? Woohoo! Make a wish. <laughs>